good team, my squad. Back to the game with all the video heard today, man. Your boy's been rolling the mystery pack off camera a lot, just with the addition of rookie premieres. I've been keeping some cards I get from the mystery, quick selling the others, and just re-rolling the mystery pack over and over. This isn't a method. It's just a fun way to re-roll the mystery and not lose a bunch. And you could potentially make some if you get a big bang or pull, but I'm not losing a lot on these rolls. And it's just fun if you want to get your rookie premieres done without just buying the stuff on the auction because that's no fun, man. You guys know I like to open up packs, man. So we'll drop four million into the mystery today. We'll re-roll all that. I'll show y'all what I'm doing. But before we hop into it, you know what I have to say. Say in every video, make sure you guys hit the like button right now. Hit the sub button if you haven't also put on post notifications, man. Join the Nodi gang. Let up the comment section. Let me know down below how you've been getting your rookie premieres. Did you just buy them um, off the auction? Did you buy packs in the store? What did you do to get your rookie premieres done? And let's hop into it. Guys, yeah, so and yeah, like I said, this isn't like going to get your rookie premieres done for cheap, anything crazy like that. I just have fun doing this. Um, again, like my girlfriend and I were just randomly rolling this, having fun, because she actually likes opening up packs too. So it's just like kind of one of those things. Now, I quick sell anything that's not a 91, a 93, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99. Now, a lot of people are like, you should keep 86s, you should exchange 89s. I personally did the math on it, and to me, it just doesn't make the most sense. Like, again, I'm not saying you're wrong, and I'm not saying I'm right. I just personally, to me, when I'm doing these like big rolls, I just don't feel the need to exchange a bunch of 86s and 89s because it's not making you that much more by doing that. So I've done the math. Again, maybe I'm doing it wrong. You guys can let me know, but I personally didn't see like a big benefit to doing that. So yeah, I only keep 91s. I only keep 93s, 95s. 96, 97s can go in the exchange or you could sell them. If you wanna have fun, you could do the 98 to 99 exchange. Um, you are risking a lot with that one nowadays because it's kind of expensive. You might wanna just sell those cards. You could probably get them off slow selling I guess like 95, 100K if you let them slow sell. But I like to do the exchange such as for fun. I'm probably losing coins by doing that. But yeah, 95, we keep that for sure. So again, I'm quick selling anything that is not 91, 93, 95, 96, 97. 98s, 99s, I could quick sell and just keep rolling it. But I like to just save those for the next reroll. And every reroll, I basically count how much I'm making. I'm not doing it right now because I don't want to make the video go slow. But every pack, I value a 91 at 7K, a 93 at 17K, a 95 at 40K, 96 and 97s. I've been saying 75, but I probably could put that at 80, um, 98 to 100K, and 99 to 162. So. Yeah, while I'm opening packs, I normally keep track how much I'm making, how much I'm losing, and I've done millions and millions off camera, and I've really only had one reroll where I lost 100K on like a couple million coin roll, and that was like my biggest L that I took. So like I said, at the end of the video, we'll go through and see how much I got back, how much I lost, how much I made, all that good stuff, but remember, we'll go down to four million. I had eight mil, we're only gonna do four mil in the video. And again, I'm not saying if you wanna exchange 86 and 89s, I'm not saying you're wrong. Just to me personally, it just didn't make too much sense on my end how I do things. But again, I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm not saying what you should stop doing that. I'm not saying like, I'm not saying you have to follow the way I'm doing it. I just, this is how I'm doing it. This is how I'm having fun with it. And gold pluses I just hold on to. This account, I think I almost had 80 gold pluses on this account. So I've been doing this a lot, man. I'm telling you guys, I've been doing, this is just one of the accounts too that I've been rolling on. I almost have like 80 gold pluses that I've saved up over time. So yeah, I just hold on to those. I don't even open them. I think I wanna try and save those for a big gold plus pack opening, like a 200 um, pack gold plus opening. We'll see. Um, and then I got my training at around 0.28. Not really happy about that, but I mean, that's just kind of what it came down to. I think the opening was like around like 2.1 mil. Let me do the math. So 0.28 times 4 mil. I think it was 2.1. I mean 1.1. I'm tripping. Not 2.1. 1.1. Um, okay. Let's keep going. Yeah. Quick sell all those. And again, I know you guys have told me 86 is 89. So it's just, I'm just not doing it. So, um, and again, maybe I'm losing coins by not doing that. Maybe it's not smart to not do that. I just, I don't know. That's just how we're rolling with it. 
All right, so remember, keep 91s, keep 93s, keep 95s. Do all that. We'll end up doing the 97 um, red zone royal exchanges. I think I might have a few 95s in my item binder, so we'll just have to make sure we don't count those in the math because we have to get back 1.12. Nice, 93. And if you guys didn't know, a mystery pack generally is about, what is it? Like maybe 19,000 coins a pack. So you have to get 19,000 coins in every pack if you want it to break even. 94, nice. 94s I've actually been keeping because I exchanged those up to 96, 97. So keep 94s as well. I forgot to mention that. Yeah, keep 94s. I value those at 20K a pop. So about 80K if you exchange for a 96, 97. And these, I'm also lowballing myself on a lot of these cards too, I feel like. I feel like I could actually count them as a little bit more. Um, like even like my 96, 97s, I was saying 75K a pop when I know for a fact I probably could sell them for 95. But I just kind of like to, I'd rather lowball myself than highball it. So it's kind of how I just operate. But yeah, with this way of doing things, you definitely need to get some 95s in the mix. You definitely don't want to get a lot of gold pluses, but that's not up to our control. So it's not up to our control. And you would hope that we could hit some 98s. I, this whole method, like not method, this whole way of things that I've been doing stuff, I haven't hit a 99. I have not hit one. I have hit a lot of 98s, but no 99s yet. And I still haven't been doing that horrible. So again, this is just a fun way. If you wanna open some packs, I haven't lost too much on one of these rolls yet. So I'm hoping in the video, you guys could at least see that you don't lose too much, even if you don't get a 98, 99. Joe Flacco, nice. We take that 93 overall. We still have a lot of training left. So I probably will be skipping some of this video unless y'all want a full unedited video. Maybe I'll pop that out tomorrow. Who knows? Who knows? That actually would be fun. Um, double 89 to 87, that's a big fat L. But yeah, it is what it is, man. Again, this is the end of the season. I'm kind of just trying to have fun with it at this point. Um, I know some people are just ready for NCAA, and once NCAA hits, you know, a lot of people are just gonna be done with mutt. So you might not be wanting to do this anymore, but I mean, we still got another week. We still got another solid week of, you know, trying to build up them rookie premieres. And they're still going for a bag, man. They're still going for a check. So yeah, we're just trying to get them done in a fun way. Not fun when you're getting a bunch of gold pluses. I think right now we have, what, three or four 95 overalls? So that's not terrible. I'd like to get a few 96, 97s though, if possible, EA. I, I will say I've opened so many draft packs and I have not gotten a 97 plus draft in a long time. Like 98, 99, I have not seen that in a minute from those, but I haven't even got it in 97. Uh, I just I just have not been able to have, I've not been doing good with that pack. As you guys saw yesterday, I just backed out of the store by accident. As you guys saw yesterday, I snapped with the Sugar Rush in real deal. More Sugar Rush, but they actually went stupid. So, you know, it's like if I see those today, I'm not like, I'm, I'm, I'm not too pressed about it, but so far nothing too good from those either. Just as a reiteration, I keep 91s, 93s, 94, 95, 96, 97, 98, 99s. I, in this video, I might re-roll 98, 99s. I'm not sure. It'll kind of be something I have to decide. There we go. We got a 97 overall Marshall Falk. Never get anything good from that AKA pack either. So that's a that's a good sight. A 97 weekly wildcard elite. I will say the weekly wildcard elites, they're 50-50 good sometimes bad but right today that's a good pack like this right here i would have calculated this pack as being 21k for the 91s and then i would have said 70 i'm gonna say 80 for this now so 101k for all of these and 96 97s have gone up a lot i don't bro i don't know how the heck this guy's only going for 70 but because when i was trying to look at 96 to 97s for the 98 to 99 exchange pack opening all I saw was 85K plus. Like I was looking for a minute and everything has gone up. Training has gone up. Um, 96, 97s have gone up. Everything has just gone up now. 
like price wise. It's just kind of, I think, because uh, there's not a lot of people spending money on packs anymore. So nobody's throwing up all these training cards that we normally would scoop up for the dirt cheap. I like that pack. Okay, that's a few good packs in a row. Just keep in mind, we pulled, we only need 1.1 mil back. We pulled a 96 and a 97, valuing those both at 80K a pop. It's 160K just in those cards. Like that's a big chunk just for two cards. That, that's a terrible one, but we just had a good one, so we can't be mad. We still have 2 million more training left to go. I think that first half was pretty good. Uh, Pro Max, we're gonna have to see what the second half does though. And like I said, I will do the math for y'all at the end as well. Okay. Not bad. I was gonna say this, the, it's always the second round that's just not good for the Pro Maxes anymore. So, okay, we keep all these. Like this math would have been 17K for a 93 and then 14K for these. So that's a 31K pack and I just quick sold a 92 as well. So it's not a bad pack value wise. We gotta offset some of the gold pluses we get. It's like, you just can't make this stuff up sometimes. Sometimes when you, you just speak stuff into existence, pro playmakers, I like these. I always get my training back on these. Watch, I'm speaking in, into the existence. Okay. Yeah, that this one, the, for the first time, we just did not speak it. Um, yeah, 47K. And then how much are these? These are 16, right? Dang, we need to get our training back. Bro, pro playmaker, come on, man. We were just hitting everything correctly and you just had to go ruin it. Come on. Real deal. So you got 1.7 milli left. Let's try and get a few more 96 pluses. Come on, man. We're not even 95s. I like 95s. I value those at 40K a pop. It's doable. Come on. Infinite Flux. I like it. Yeah, man, a lot of people have been hating on the mysteries. I still am rolling with them. Again, it's not the greatest pain and because of the gold plus, it does suck. I know, yes, it does. Real Deal, Sugar Rush, even Playmakers have been pretty bad, but I still have been having fun with it. And I have been doing the math every time I do a roll. I never go in blind when I'm re-rolling this. I always like to just kind of keep track and see like how bad am I doing, how good am I doing. I will say I haven't had many where I've profited a lot, but that's also because I haven't had any 99s. If you get a 99, that's just a plus. That's where you're at. Bro. I'm, guys, you're gonna think that I'm just like, pre I'm like, I'm recording after I've opened. I don't even know what to say, bro. You, this is now like three days in a row that something like this has happened where I'm talking about it and it happens. I just might be able to see it in the future. I don't know what it is. But nine, it's my first 99 overall from an infinite flux pack. Now, the other day I pulled a 99 from a weekly wild card and I said, I'm gonna keep track of all the packs that I pulled 99s from. I'm gonna try and get a 99 from the, every pack in the mystery, if possible. I know it's not gonna probably happen, but I'm gonna have to add this one to the list because we just pulled a 99 overall. Let's see how much it goes for too. 250, this might be one that I have to think about. I would probably sell that one. Yeah, I would probably have to sell that guy. Dude, you just can't make that. I'm gonna value this at like, two, I'm gonna say 240. Cause it says medium's 250, but I think I could probably slow sell that for like 275. So I'm gonna say 240 after tax for that one. That's a quarter of our coins back. And again, now this has officially turned out to be one of those openings where it's like, oh, I pulled a 99, I pulled something crazy. So yes, it's gonna look a lot better than what normally happens. But like I was telling you guys, normally I'm not making a bunch on these. I'm not getting you know a bunch of things done for free. It's just, it's a fun way. And when you have instances like this, when you pull a 99, you pull a golden ticket, you pull something like that, that's when you are like, okay, maybe I'll do one of my rookie premieres or I'll keep a 97 this time around because I profited a lot more than what I normally get. We'll have to see how much I profit. Like if I prof somehow profit like 200K on this one, I'll probably just keep a 97, put it toward a rookie premiere and then just keep moving. 
again, that we'll probably lose on the next round after, but dang, that's crazy. Okay. Dude, I've been trying to pull a freaking 99 from an infinite flux since that pack has came into the game. I could never do it. So weekly wild card down, infinite flux down. I'm also going to count off camera pulls because I'm going to be honest with you. If I I would never be able to pull a 99 from every pack if it wasn't if it was all just video pulls. It just wouldn't happen. Damn, we're getting a lot of sugar rush and real deal. Come on, man. Show me something nice. 91 William Perry. I was going to say, we haven't kept a card. Outside of that 99, we haven't kept one in a while. So, All right, let's keep moving, man. Even with a 99 pull, maybe even this opening, we don't even go too crazy and we just break even. Who knows? This has also been my way of like getting 96 to 97s without having to buy them for 85k off the auction because I'm not going to be doing that 98 to 99 exchange if it's going to cost me 85k a pop for one of those. Like that comes out to what 340k for a set. I'm not doing it. Just no shot. Ooh, that was booty. All right, we got one million and fifty thousand training left. Ring of Iron, come on, give us give us a 98. Give us a 98 here. Or a 95. No. Ring of Honor. Sometimes Ring of Honor delivers, sometimes it sells. It's just a way of life with these things. All right. Gold plus. We'll just save those. Probably nearing 100 on this account. So like I said, I'm gonna save that up until we get like 200 of them and then I'll do a big opening with that. We'll see what we get in 200 gold pluses. That's why I've been just grinding on this account, trying to stack those up too. Okay, 91 Raheem. Yeah, we're kind of selling right now. Ever since we got that 99, we kind of used all of our luck and I think we're just kind of selling. Draft. Draft, come on. 93, I like it. Right there, this pack right here, that is a 24K pack. 91 and a 93. 24,000 coins in value. It's a chunk, Ring of Honor, come on. Got 600,000 training, I need to see something else. Ah, double 91s. Ring of Honor, I was gonna say, we got a 95 from those in this video, because I was gonna say, dang, those have been selling too. Real deal. If I get a 98, I'm a quick sell it. If I get one in this pack, I'm gonna quick sell and we're gonna keep on rolling. Nope. That'd have been too nice. That'd have been too generous. Let's keep moving. Real deals, bro, you gotta chill. Even though I did pull 98 Kirk Cousins out of these the other day. Okay, not good. 4.5. So we're going down to four milli, remember. So we're almost done, we're almost at the end. Now, honestly, I don't even think we profited anything really from this one. I don't think we did anything too crazy. It's just the fact that those 97 red zone rails are selling like, in, they sell so fast. I throw them up for one hour and they, they sell really quick. I've been throwing them up for like 180. During the weekend they were selling for like 185 190 like it was kind of crazy i don't know people just decided oh i'm doing all my rookie premieres this weekend and it was crazy prices i feel like those might even go up more as as the game starts dying even more that those prices might even go up more so 318,000. we're coming to the end we're coming to the end of the line We'll have to, we're gonna go in the item binder. We'll just see value-wise how much we got back. Okay, we got some 93.91 again. It's another 24K. Can we, oh, we only have like two more packs. Dang. I was gonna ask for another 96, but that's not possible. That is not gonna happen. I think we got Oh wait, we didn't get a, I was gonna say, I think we got every pack in this opening, but we didn't get a playmaker. Like I think we got every single pack, but a, a normal playmaker. Unless we got that in the beginning and I just don't remember. It's kind of crazy. 
All right, we're gonna open up one more because we have like a little. We're, we'll go down to like we're at four mil. This is a gold plus. We're done. Let's see. Basically, basically a gold plus. No way we get anything here. Are we still over four mil? Let me give it one more. We're still over. This is last one though, for sure. Okay, last one for sure. Four million training. Actually even more because we've been re-rolling too. So let's go straight to the item binder. Kind of see what we got going on with these. So newest. All right, so remember I said 7K for a 91 overall. I say that because that basically would put a 97 and 168K. Um, and after tax, we're getting about like 162, 163. If I let them slow sell, if I throw them up for 185, they probably could sell for that. So I, I say 7K for a 91. So let me just get my calculator out. We were at 1.12 that we need back. So this row we've got, that is 35K. That is 51 right there. That's a lot of 91. So let me just put 50 minus 51. This is the same, this is actually the same row too. So minus another 51K for all of those guys. Minus 51. This is almost the same, but we have a 99. So that would be 40, 44K. And I said for this guy, I'm gonna do 240. Okay, not bad, not bad. Okay, so that would be 35, that'd be the 51 again. This would put us at 51, so that'd be 68. This is 40K, so that'd be 108. This would be um, plus 21, so that'd be 129. So we're already at 600. This guy, I'm gonna say 80. Even though he was up for 70, I know for a fact we can get that back, so. Um, 21 for the 91s, and that'd be 31, 38, 40, 78, and then this would be an 80, so that'd be 158. Yeah, I don't think we're gonna profit on this one, sadly, but um, 17, 34 plus 20, so that's 54, plus 21, so that's minus 75. Uh, we're close. That would be 491, so that's 28. This would be 38, 45. This would be 85. Oh man, this is real close. Let's see, 7, 7, 21, 28. That would be 28 plus a 17, so that's 45. And then that'd be minus 85. Oh my God, you guys are gonna freak out. So we end up losing 100K, even with a 99 pull. Now again, a lot of people are gonna say if you keep the 86s, if you keep the 89s, you would have done better. Maybe, I don't know. And it's crazy with a 99 pull that I still ended up taking an L on that. But I'm still doing this. this is like, that is like straight after tax everything. Like I said, I was lowballing myself. I feel like on a little bit of these, but dang, that's kind of, that kind of sucks, bro. This is the first time I pulled a 99. I thought we would be at least close to a break even because most of the time, like I said, I lose like maybe 40, 50 K, but I also did pay a little bit more for training this time around. Like I said, I did 0.28 instead of 0.25. So let me see if I did, let's see. If I did 0.25, I think we would have profited. Let me just, I'm just doing math now. I'm just like rambling, but let's see. One, one, two. So 1 million, what is 0.25? Yeah, we would have profit. We would have, we would have broke even if it was at 0.25. So again, maybe this isn't isn't as good now that I'm paying a little bit more for training. I was paying 0.25 for training when I was like really having fun with this, but 
Now that's at 0.28, it might just be kind of a choke. But yeah, I would have broke even. I would have got to keep a 96, got to keep a 97 um, for my exchanges. But yeah, this is what I've been doing. Again, it's no method. I said that at the beginning. This is not a cheap way. It's just kind of a fun way. It's just kind of what I've been doing. I'll literally throw these into the 97 Red Zone Royale exchanges and just kind of go from there. But Dang, that's tough, bro. That was a really good opening too, man. But let me know if you guys would do anything differently if you think the 86 and 89s are worth holding on to. Let me know what your guys' thoughts on that are. I honestly might leave this as an uncut video so y'all will just see the whole video. Yeah, y'all just have to deal with me talking. But that's gonna be all for the video, so make sure you guys hit the like, hit the sub, put on post notifications, and I'll see y'all in the next video or stream, man. King of the Packs finale tomorrow. So I better see y'all there, man. Peace.